Right, what is going on guys? In this video I'm going to show you if you can get away with a cheap variable ND filter for my camera. So I picked this one up for about £10. It was the cheapest one, but I made sure it looked like it was coming from a decent company. For these tests I'm using a Carl Zeiss 50mm 1.8 lens and a Bauer M42 to Nikon adapter. That is the best one, the highest quality glass, so there won't be any problems in those respects. Now for the first test, the lens is at f2.8, that's still pretty sharp, and the ND filter is around the middle of the range. Okay, so this is a scene that I've set up, and you can judge for yourself how you think it looks, and please tell me in the comments how sharp you think this ND filter is. Now personally, I quite like the way it looked, it was a bit softer, but you could get away with it definitely, it didn't degrade the image that much. Now onto the second test, you can see it is exactly the same settings, I've left the settings the same, just obviously the focus, and the amount of ND I think was slightly more on this test. Now here you can see the advantage of using a variable ND filter is you get much more motion blur in brighter conditions and it makes it look more natural. Now here you can judge for yourself the difference between with the ND filter and without. It is a bit softer and you can see notable colour shift with the filter on. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like below and subscribe if you haven't already.